Around the end of each year, senioritis sweeps across the graduating class of FHN. Senioritis is a fake medical term used to describe the lack of motivation of seniors around the end of the school year. This is not a rare condition, however. Almost any senior you ask will admit to having this fictional illness. I do have senioritis. I do have senioritis. I have senioritis. I do, I do have senioritis. I think everyone gets a little bit of senioritis no matter what grade level they're in. I think just senior year it's even worse because you are leaving and most of, most of the time you've already been accepted into colleges. I feel that not that you can bomb second semester senior year, but colleges typically don't look at second Your semester senior year too much and I feel like there's a more lenience with a lot of people and so it kind of creates almost a relaxed vibe instead of being very, very stressed out about, oh, am I going to get into this college, this college, this college. Students are not the only ones affected by senioritis as teachers have to deal with the lack of motivation of students as well. It's so frustrating. I wish it were as, as easy as take a Tylenol and you'll feel better tomorrow. Um, but you know, it, it's hard because I want to see these kids succeed. Whatever the issue is going on with that senior, we try to intervene and help them to stay on track and to stay accountable. Even though senioritis is a big problem, that doesn't mean that all seniors are completely ready to give up. I'm still definitely going to try. I'm going to get my work in. I'm going to do everything that I can to get my work in. I think I'm just going to try and be more relaxed about it, though. I think years prior, I've been way too stressed out about school. I think I'm just going to be more relaxed and more lenient instead of stressing myself out to the bitter end. My goals for the rest of the year is really maintaining balance and keeping up my grades as well. Um, other than that, it's just senior year.